Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. As you can tell, today I'm driving. Uh, it's just me and Kayla today. My dad's out of town, so we're gonna try shrimping and uh, see how we do. All right guys, we made it out here. Um, hopefully the engine will run a little better as we go. But uh, we're gonna make some casts, do a little prospecting. Um, just kind of see what depth works good, what area we just kind of got to throw around systematically and uh, try to hone in on them. So here we go. Doesn't appear to be much drift. Just kind of random seeing what's there. You always carry multiple nets even if you're sure all your nets are good brand new nets sometimes you grab something on the bottom and it snags it and breaks it while you're out here Alright guys, we caught 10, 1, 0, you can say I'm deadly as catch. We got us enough for a moderate appetizer tonight. One person or group can split a, a small appetizer. It's $10 if you went to a restaurant probably. Let's see if lightning can strike twice. Way the morning was start, I wasn't sure we were gonna catch a lot. I wasn't sure we were gonna get out here. Motor's are still a little rough. You know those games you play where there's like corn or candy or gumballs in a jar and you gotta like guess how many is in a jar? How many you think shrimp, moderate sized shrimp, are in a five gallon bucket? We've got 10, I wonder how many more we need, like 10,000? We got deep really quick. 22 to 27. Should be right on the edge of that kind of drop off I found. So hopefully that'll be where they're at. So if I average, you know, like four or five a cast, I need a five gallon bucket say, I don't know, 2,000 in a cast, or in a five gallon bucket, it's what, five, five by, it's 400 cast. I don't know if I can do 400 cast this morning. Uh, I got three. Yeah, a lot of people showing up. 
A lot of people on the shrimp grounds. This is the first time we're shrimping on this boat. I'm kind of learning some things we got to tweak or watch out for. Things that can snag your net, you know, where the swim ladder is, cleats. Um, probably have to move this antenna next time because the tip's snagging. So if you've never shrimp before, try to be mindful of these things and, uh, you know, try to plan a spot to throw or if you can kind of modify those things and not snag your net, that'll help things to go better. See guys, we're having some motor trouble. It makes it tough. Motor won't idle or go slow. Normally I'd have the motor on. I could have Kayla drive me around. I'd throw here and if it was good, she'd hover in the spot. If it was bad, we'd move. A little less, uh, less able to use my normal tactics with the motor not running right. anchor we're still doing good because this drift is kind of hard oh wow dang that is best we've seen all day it gives me hope it's kind of like uh like hawkeye said don't do that do what <laughs> give me hope that was nice all those all those suckers over there catching five, ten at a time. Here we are by ourselves. Yep, by ourselves. Catch them up. The second question is, can lightning strike <clears throat> twice? Hopefully more than twice. We got a long way to go. guys got to add some rope to our nets because uh, we're in a little bit deeper water and there's a lot of current I'm anchored up hopefully we're on the spot it's been a pain to maneuver the boat today with the various issues it's having make shrimping a little hard but hopefully uh, we're in the spot now this extra rope will get us what we need and uh, we'll be good to go we can at least have I would say two two full entrees for dinner. I think maybe three. Yeah. 
I think you did. Pretty sure you did. Have a really weird drift. The current's going that way. The wind's kind of blowing that way. Not very helpful. Tried using a bucket as like a sea anchor to kind of give the current more of an effect on the boat than the wind. So it helped a little, but still, you know, just a little MacGyverism we came up with real quick. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. We had fun trying to shrimp. Pretty tiring, a little slower than we hoped. Had some boat issues that really kind of hurt us. I like to be able to idle around and try different spots, and that was my plan. I was gonna have Kayla kind of drive me and I'd throw. But a uh, boat doesn't really want to idle, so I can kind of hop to spots and anchor. But uh, kind of a weird current, and just, uh, you know, unless they're really running good, I prefer to just be able to bounce around spots. But we'll go work on the engine. First time shrimping out of the boat, we learned some things, kind of what's causing tangles, what's getting in the way of the net. So we'll work on those too. Um, I'm sure you gotta do a video on what we do to prep our boat for that. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.